Uh, 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 it's them uh, boys. It's them boys. We black. had the kids. Your black. favorite boys. Your black mama's favorite black, boys. Black. The blackest black. podcast in the world. <laughs> well, I'm not that black, but my soul is dark. Hearing all of us at the same time is <laughs> listening to the inside of a black man's head the when real, he walks into a store. The real sounds of black men. Mm-hmm. Wow. But yes. With the book bag on. That's your mama's favorite <laughs> podcast. We're back for another episode. Before we continue, Shout out to our nigga T. Coop for being on last week. Word, shout out Appreciate T. Coop, man. Appreciate you coming through, homie. Hey, you but have to be on again, even if we have to kidnap you and hold you hostage. He's lying. We, we, don't, we don't need you. I don't lie. JK, yeah. we love you, bro. Just kidding. <laughs> 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 no, seriously. Appreciate you coming through, T. Coop. One love. Appreciate you. Yeah, for and sure. you're always welcome back. Absolutely. You're officially an, ex- <clears throat> an excellent black person. EBP. Word. Hashtag mm-hmm. EBP. That should be one of the things, like, we just, like, grab somebody... And like, pull pull the the mask off, and they're like, huh, huh, and they, they got cameras on them. Welcome to the podcast. podcast. <laughs> hey, I thought I was going grocery shopping. <laughs> like, what's happening? Episode's happening. Sure. Welcome our new guest, a terrified bystander. Last time I remember, my dick was in my hand, and I was in my room. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, you kidnapping we, niggas mid masturbation? Word, we snatching niggas from everywhere. I just but wanted anyway. to see what y'all was saying if I said that. <laughs> Some more funny shit. But anyway, <laughs> this is we didn't we didn't <laughs> I- introduce ourselves or. Or en- extra intra, no, you you introduction. It's, it's introduction. Whoa, <laughs> Intru- no, it's intro- we 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 had a word. No, no extra is, 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 is when we're leaving. Oh, yeah, yeah, but we introduce. we had one. We had one for the for the entry. We did. But anyway, this is Flocka Zulu, <laughs> aka Nicodemus, <laughs> aka Pablo Escovich, aka Gary Indiana Jones, aka a no more aka a. Stop the violence. <laughs> <laughs> it's your boy I seen Black, aka Way Bixby, aka Black Dynamite, aka Holy Pocaroches, aka Shabby Ranks, aka Always Bet on Black, aka Samurai Black, aka Swiss what? Army Nigger, Swiss Army Nigger, Swiss Army Nigger, Swiss Army Nigger. Swiss Army nigga, carry the last note. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, um, as usual. Oh, I'm <laughs> fucking up. <laughs> yeah, no, nobody. <laughs> it's, your, right. it's your boy Dramatic, aka Wave Chappelle, aka Wave McGrady, aka Loud Pat Trover, aka Black Galifianakis, aka <laughs> Malcolm Vex. <laughs> we went out of order, so I forgot we didn't even get to you. My bad, dog. Bro. My AKA, bad, AKA dog. Excited. No, I'm excited. Word. I was just excited to get into some 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 black. Quick little nugget. Oh. Oh. Nelly really released Country Grammar 19 years ago today. No way. Wow. Right. Yeah. I was just listening to... um. 19 years? Yeah. It was the single. 2000. The single. No, no, no. The 2000. Album. Oh, was can, can nine, we get a cross reference, please? I keep, when did Nelly release his first album? Can we pull out a Which damn near went diamond. People forget about that. Bro, that yeah, shit Nelly so went diamond. Hella record. What? Oh, he went diamond. Or was it yeah. almost diamond? Or was the album that went diamond? I mean, no, the no. record. 2000. And was it Dog, I June keep, 27? I keep forgetting that the year 2000 is, where is like know? damn near 20 yeah. years. From, 19 like, years ago today, Nelly released a classic album, Country Grammar, with the lead hit single. Country grammar. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect sense. Word. I remember coming home watching the box. Y'all remember that shit? Yes. The box. Are we not talking about the porn channel either? Channel 25 <laughs> when you ain't had no cable. Yes. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> and yo, Country Grammar was on every day. I got sick of that song. I hated that song. Honestly, I can't help but give him props because Hot he, he <laughs> took a uh, a childhood nursery rhyme that turned into a gangster's ass song. Like, you know when it first came out, we didn't hear the dirty version. Yeah, mm-hmm. like, but the real version is I'm going down, down, baby. Your street in the Range Rover, street sweep, like, just do it in there. Street, street sweeper, sweeper and for those of y'all who ready don't to know, let it go. ready to let it go. Yeah, street sweeper, aka I'm wetting up the whole block. <laughs> yeah, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, wait, wait, wait. For those who don't understand what I'm wetting up the whole block means. A drive-by shooting. Who do you think this is to us? <laughs> yeah, no, Everyone. No, no. Everyone. And we, I think be we aware. Got, we got niggas in India, though. They don't know what. Oh, yeah. Shout out, shout out India. Shout out India. And Word, I think they don't, sweepers a Tommy gun? They don't. They don't. Think, Tommy gun. What is? So. He was shooting niggas in the 60s, think, nigga? What is, I, I would think it was just anything. Man, that. see? Man. Man, see? <laughs> Nelly was murdering <laughs> niggas in the 60s. I'm going down, down, baby. Oh. See? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah. 
Hey, <laughs> coppers, oh, ready God. to let it go. See? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All Bro. you niggas is niggas. Bro. Watch it. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Mm, it's me. Bro, mm. when you think about a Tommy gun, dog, that shit with a with a shit of a drum. With a drum, a dog. Why do you was, need that many bullets? Niggas there up. was wet, there was wet niggas, niggas, up, niggas up, dog. Oh, I remember John Mulaney had this joke where he's like. Back then, like, how many bullets did they have? They used to, sh- they used to shoot up the bank and shoot their name into the side of the bank. <laughs> <laughs> and they light a cigar while they're still there. Still there. He was like, <laughs> yeah, he's like, we're bullets free. And they was wearing three-piece suits to rob banks. Like, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> well, sorry, I got to talk about this random thing. Did y'all hear that, like, Nick Cannon used to, like, perform other comics jokes that he watched on, like, Comic View the night before? <laughs> When he was a teenager, oh, oh I can't but he didn't know it was like to... innocent, like yeah, yeah, that's what <laughs> Gary I'm saying. Owen, yeah. Gary Owen pulled him to the side and was like, "Hey, uh, that was Earthquake's joke, like as an example." You say, "Yeah, I watched it last night. It was great." And he's like, "No, you can't you're supposed to perform your own <laughs> shit." <laughs> you <can't do> <laughs> and like wow. a couple months later, he got discovered <laughs> for all that. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. He would like he opened up for Jamie Fox. Random. I'm sorry. This thought was funny as fuck. <laughs> well, I don't remember the last time I we did, started off an episode. I did that by accident once. <laughs> like I told a joke that I thought I wrote. Turns out that I heard it like years before, and I forgot that I heard it. Wow. <laughs> Those of y'all don't know. Well, it was another comment. Sir- he was just like, that was so and so. I was just like, oh shit. I was like, I complete. That's thought, crazy. Yeah, I I thought I wrote that shit. Flockazula used to do stand up, y'all. Still does. We're on, on, on a little bit of hiatus. Yeah, just a hiatus. We we mm-hmm. get we get but we finna I'm putting it out what? there. What? Oh I'm putting it out there on the <laughs> on the interwebs. You know what I'm saying? And if oh. if you see dramatic on the stand up stage, please don't boo me. I will just kill laugh. myself. Hey, no. Look, whoa, whoa, we, whoa. All right. That's definitely that. something we will have to call the authorities <laughs> about. I'm you trying say? to <laughs> people people watching this episode, I need you to spam. Dramatic oh and the Swiss Army nigga. I see him black. No, I'm flattered get that on, you even think I to, can do it. To, to get on the stage, it's not just me. I'm flattered you I'm think gonna, I'm that funny. Nigga, yeah, uh, why the, nigga, no, no, I've accepted my humor levels. I know I'm hilarious. Nigga, <laughs> <laughs> nigga why in the fuck would I do a, a podcast with some not funny niggas, bro? Good yeah, point. You're right, you're right. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, we we episodes in. Nigga, we got niggas putting hit in, in India. India. Shout out, got niggas in shot ass off. We are really banking bro, on this Indian hey, thing, bro. Hey, <laughs> start somewhere, man. Bro, bro the, what, the moment, what happened to the listener in Germany? Bro, the, the moment <laughs> I had that one listener, uh, I was I'ma milk that. We we <laughs> we international, <laughs> baby. We yeah. might have a little yeah. fan it's, club and shit. Hey, yo, it's official. We're gonna continually from now on introduce mm. ourselves as the internationally recognized mm-hmm. podcast. <laughs> internationally. Loved by international mamas all We're over. We're syndicated place. in our own minds Word. internationally across SoundCloud, Word. <laughs> iTunes, Word. podcasts. Be- before we even got money, we rich. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, Word. but that's it. Rich in spirit. Word. I'm <laughs> rich in <already>. love and <laughs> laughter. Word. I'm already bougie. You know? Real. <laughs> but when was the last time we started off an episode with a TPSG? Wild as tangent. Well, and we're back. <laughs> well, technically, that wasn't a tangent because we didn't get start talking about anything. We were mm. just, we were just bullshit. Mind. This is awkward. <laughs> <laughs> he saw where I was going. He saw where I was going. <laughs> I was still in the basket in the awkwardness. <laughs> so I saw some interesting things, right? What's up? It was, it was from two different like posts or things that I saw. That started this train of thought. So, I saw um, Russell Wilson, um, you know, quarterback for the Seahawks for you know our international. Kawhi team. Leonard Jr. You know what I'm saying? Sorry, yeah. got the straight backs right. Word, word. <laughs> I didn't even um, see that. I got that right, right? American, you know what I'm saying? Football. Yeah, for the Seahawks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. so all right. So <laughs> that I had to make sure because nigga, you, I'll be like, yeah. His thing is Formula One and soccer, y'all. Bro. <laughs> Basically, no, no, you mess up. It's like, no, he played for so and so and so and so. Like, relax. Word, because niggas just be traded overnight. You never know. So anyway, back to what I was talking about. He made a post about um, immigration, and he actually posted like um, a picture of like uh, um, like two corpses, like a, a child and somebody and. Um, they're saying he how he posted that. Yeah, and he was saying how you know th- this is wrong. This shouldn't happen here. Da da da. And he made a point of he, he called himself the descendant of a slave. 
and I kind of, hmm. and I, I kind of like, you know, I, I see where he was coming from, but I didn't really, that, that didn't rub me the right way. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was just like, uh, we, we, we go f- further back from that. What was you know the point what I'm saying? But anyway, but the point yeah. he was making was like, um, everybody should have a chance here. You know what I'm saying? Cause mm-hmm. y'all, you know, going back, we all came here from somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? So that was his point. And of course, and the NFL fans, people were like, we should just do it legally, da, 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 but being assholes. Anyway. Or did they hit him with the stick to football shit? Of course. Probably. Yeah. Of you course. You can't be more than two things, right? Oh, word. <laughs> I'm, I'm, Not if I'm, you're an athlete. Word. I'm, I'm, trying to see, I'm trying to see how far he takes it and if they try to do him like that. Yeah, I hope he don't bat now. <laughs> word. Like, he's dated Sierra now. He got a represent. <laughs> word. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> she going to dance mean. on his face. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> word. So, anyway. I mean, that's good that he, he at least... I mean, either way, he's bringing attention to mm, yeah. um, the matter or more attention to the topic. Mm, you but know. Anyway, to, mm, my mm, bad to cut yeah, you, yeah, but yeah. to get back to to the the broader point. Yeah. Um, I also saw. Um, I was watching clips from the BT Awards, mm-hmm. and I saw one where um, y'all know Burner Boy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, from Nigeria, he he won um International Artist of the Year. So he's been killing it, though, bro. Psh- He's from England, right? Bro, I'm low key addicted to that nigga music. Bro. Yeah, like, I've heard one song. Bro, bro you've you heard his songs. Bro, bro, bro. you've heard his songs. Um, and, bro, no like I heard yeah, one me. song <laughs> and I went on a damn dive, bro. I'm yeah. like, this is some. I like this shit because I feel like this is how I would so- sound if I tried it's to sing right. some shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. you oh, know why? Because he's he's smooth, bro, he's mad he smooth, dog. Uh, sing rap, dog. Uh, oh, okay, okay. Dog, he be like it's real chill. You could smoke. He be you put one up, dog. He, 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 he just vibe to his shit. Where he be, party to it at the same time. It's, it's where he know, be it's, putting his little pato in there too, dog. Yeah, he mixes it up. Everybody like, love like, pato. Dog, I see you, nigga. I know where you got that from, nigga. He has that vibe. We gonna talk about you from you from the continent, so you know you got you you got the continent. I love that. Yeah. But anyway, <laughs> his mom, he wasn't there. His mom accepted the award for him. So she said that um, his, him, hers and um, his overall message to all black people in America is that you're African before you're anything else. Mm-hmm. And, I, and I was just like, yo. Mm. And I, I found it so interesting. Like I saw that like shortly after I saw like that, like... Mm-hmm. And I and I and I started thinking about the parallels, and I started thinking about like us as black people, like what do we see our identity as? Do we see it as like Africans? Do we see it as former slaves? And what does that feeling, or what does that identity? How does that translate into our like self value or who we are? I f- <clears throat> and and I feel like I feel like a big part of it is <clears throat> about you know what you know and what you've been taught. Mm. Because you know, from an early age, my pops always so you know, uh, my parents are Jamaican, background Jamaican, and you know, pops always told us about you know the difference between us and right, black um black Americans, because he was like some um, you know you have to be empathetic with black Americans because their their past and their slavery <clears throat> and all that was different from ours. Like we were never mm. in bondage. We were never it in the same we, way. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, let me say in the same way, like yeah. they were beaten, they were humiliated, they were raped. Like and we then, didn't, we didn't go through the same horror they did, even word. though it was, it was horror, mm. but it wasn't the same. So you have to understand, you have to empathize. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of foreigners, not just Jamaicans, Haitians, Jamaicans, Africans, whatever, they come over here and they just hate Black Americans. Or they, they, or they look down upon. Yeah, they look down upon. Like, no, you have to understand what they went through. You know what their but ancestors the, went through. But then that goes to show you what America does to Black people, bro. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, and it still goes on. Like with the education system, the 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 the, the what, school to prison pipeline, the justice system. Like, America, America could could see, could generate, like, definitely see, like, their their treatment of black people just based on, cause even like you, when you see, and that's not even a knock cut on, on, on saying it's not a knock makes it sound like a knock, but like, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you can say it's like, a, it's a purposeful effort to keep black people at a certain level. Oh, absolutely. You know, that's you know a con- that's been going on for you, your mom, your daddy, everybody. That's, mm. that's, that's been a thing with America always. Um, um, how can I word it? Like basically, 
they're one step forward, three step backwards. But Word. we were forced these steps backwards. You Word. know what I'm saying? We didn't take them ourselves. Word. So I feel like, do you guys feel like that first step is that, that sense? And I feel like it's happening because I feel like in the last couple of years, <clears> like <throat> black people as a whole, at, at least around me or like you see in this country, like, you mm -hmm. know, you, when you when you take, you know, a, a sample from social media and stuff, like you see people get more in tune with their, their blackness. Mm -hmm. um, their, more proud. You, you know what I'm saying? More pride. In a, and you, but you still, you know, see the, the downfall. You still see the colorism. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The, yeah. the, the race bias. But you know, it's it's coming on. And like we, what what I like about um, a, a approach that I see is it's like ownership mm -hmm. rather than hey, uh, help us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or give us a hand. You know, because that only went so far, and they're not going to give. They're not going to relinquish power. You know whether they consciously think they're doing that or not, and well, and when I say they, I'm being very obscure and you know. No, no, I yeah. understand. But um, some people don't look at it as a, <clears throat> look at it as a handout. They look at it as um like equality, like mm. give us what you have. Like let's mm. be equal and see who mm. really rises in everything. Yeah, because you know, same thing we spoke about last podcast. We had the same opportunities as them. We have the same outlets as them. As them. Mm -hmm. we, we would be just as successful as they are. Like, there's not even a question about it. Yeah, that. Mm -hmm. but then the real... You know what I'm saying? That, like, that's why I'm saying it's really a handout. It's like, you know, give me, like, you know, like, give me what, what I deserve. What you're, what you're owed, you know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. What I'm owed, yeah. But then the thing is, the realization, I feel like, is that we, we have to take it. You know what I'm saying? And then, <clears throat> yeah, it's going to come to that, yeah. And in, that, and in that process... People are gonna get eight, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And it's it's like a it's it's a it's a double edged sword. Like yeah, it's like it's yeah. like you you try to milk it too much, and then it's like yeah, know, where it's like bro, you you basically saying so many people get lost that way as opposed to um the other way mm. because yeah yeah like you said if you if you fighting to take it like some people not about that so mm. and you post. You're supposed to be about everyone in your culture. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So no person left behind type thing. Mm -hmm. It's not just black people I like. It's black people. <clears throat> yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's mm -hmm. everybody. So Word. yeah, no, that's, that's facts. Word. Dog, that's, that's big that, what you just said, dog. Not just black people. A lot, like, dog. Yeah. A lot of black Yo. people be turning their nose up, dog. Yo, if... Like they like they better than people. It, it's I could, it, I could call a name. Oh, big old we, facts. We, we was just cussing. We was just... <laughs> Oh, I'm, uh, we might be talking about the same person. Wait, wait hold on. <laughs> who, who are we talking about? Who are we talking about, player? We, we, we were just talking um uh, b before the episode. Yeah, so we talking about Miss... Um, you know what I'm saying? What, what was her name? Amanda Seals. Yeah. Oh. Hey. <laughs> Poster child for that shit. <laughs> Bro, God. <laughs> now, the, before we get into dogging the fuck out of the bullshit she be talking about sometimes. <laughs> um... I like, no, how, you you word, I like you, how you worded with dogging her bullshit about her. Bro, no, I'm not so dogging her. No, 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 because she's, she's how, an wait, extremely you, intelligent woman, period. You, you yeah, follow, yeah, not going to take that away. You follow her? Or you just see, no, you just see some, some stuff? No, but probably every girl I know follows her. Mm. So all yeah. I need to do is see whenever they post shit about what she's talking about. Nah. And that's how I keep up. And, <laughs> but and, and so while it's entertaining, you know, she makes these funny videos. Every time something seems to come up. Mm -hmm. She has a very great opinion on it, right? And so she has an opinion on what? Black men don't cheat? Yeah. Black men don't cheat. And she basically all lives mattered, the black men don't <laughs> oh, cheat God. situation, in my opinion. Right. So, and, and I got, and, and what's funny is, I, we're not alone thinking this, right? We're not alone. Like, well, let's so not even, let's, that's let's, a. That's no, all, I got some comments. No, I, 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 I you know, I let's not even. Let's not even take it there because we're going That's when it's gonna seem like we bashing. No, we, no, I'm not, not bashing at all. But hold on, but we, I'm not bashing at all because I, I. All right. So the point I was trying to make before we get into it is that uh -huh. she has a good. She has a point. She's actually correct. But it's like, however, it's like, the, her like, tone in the way that she presented like, it. Is she's is as if she's saying it's great that black men don't cheat, but yeah, what about? She, she's da, 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 like da, da, I'm like, it. Oh, it was, it was, praising it at the same it was, time. It was, <laughs> what, what she was saying is like, oh, that's a given, da da da. But it's like, duh. She, she said it. it hold on, but it's like, duh. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like that. This is what we talk, and and not even to us, just like to zero on her, but because like, a lot of niggas do this. 
You know, they yeah, always yeah. take something that's like, um, that's that's trending or mm-hmm. something that's a lot of people are like behind and like hipsters dog they're like but da, 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 da. I'm like bro like, <laughs> like it's just it's just being fake deep it's yeah, like it's, it's like you're not it's not an original thought it's like yeah but it's not about just cheating it's about being it's like duh just well, like let people have fun you know it's yeah, a, it's I, a I, jo- I, like people know and and like that like the, the elite the the upper yeah, the upper crust. Well, what, what I, yeah. What, but what I think we're really upset about is not what she said, but how she said it. Mm. Because the whole video is her, you know, with a she has a condescending tone, and she's saying how like, you know, she's making the stale face, and she's like, well, why don't we go to therapy? Da, 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 and not cheating is the most basic requirement for a relationship. It's not exactly the most basic requirement, but mm. you know, that's that's a point you want to make for your video. Mm-hmm. And that's all well and good, but or it's not well and good. <laughs> that's why we're talking about it. But it, you know, she 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 sounds she sounds she sounds upset. She sounds like somebody hurt her, and she's still going on about it. And that's all it is. And because why can't there be a moment where all black men are celebrating together, saying we don't cheat? Because whether you want to believe it or not, there's a lot of men out there that don't cheat. There are people in the world that don't cheat. So the moment black men are getting shine for not cheating, even right. though I, we know it's a, you know there's a it's kind of a running joke at the same time right. too. What it is like? Why why put this this taste like what? she she was saying she wants to raise up the awareness, which but is which, which is the but point of making it an all but, lives matter situation. But, in, but in, the point is nobody nobody was unaware. No, exactly. Like, who, no, no, no. exactly. Is, she so she's saying she wants to raise up the awareness of these other things like going to therapy, communicating kindly and respectfully with each other. But that's what we've always been talking about. Yeah. The like, topic of the conversation of black men don't cheat is black men don't cheat. That's, that's what it. we're talking about. So if you want to, you know, have a ten- bring attention to yourself to open up another part of the conversation, don't throw shade on the black men don't cheat conversation. What did- because with that, you're emasculating men with that, in my opinion. You're saying, well, ah, you don't cheat, but what about boo, 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 boo? Like, you know, what about this? What about that? It's like, can, can you? Yeah, it's just, it's just undermining. The, it's a black men don't cheat moment. So let it be a black men don't cheat moment. Mm. When, when there's other moments for black women, you God don't hear forbid. black men saying what about blah, blah, blah. And not, no forbid. famous black men complaining about shit at least not that I can remember and if there is point it out to me let me see what? but I just think I just feel annoyed when I watch her videos sometimes Ooh, man, man. What it, personally what it, what it is <laughs> <laughs> what it, <laughs> I feel you though like I, I felt that weight that shit hurt <laughs> that shit hurt me too yeah. like I feel like what it is it's a it's a it's a counter movement. Because mm. the narrative has always been to undermine the black man or to to over to over sexualize the black man to to make the black man seem violent to make, you know what I'm saying to mm. see the, make him seem <clears throat> promiscuous because at the end of the day people are people everybody cheats mm-hmm. everybody's faithful you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. but the the problem is the narrative you know what I'm saying I think we talked about it before like. You know what I'm saying? Everybody cheats, but you don't hear it. like white men cheating is not a thing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like Indian men cheating is not a thing that you hear. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. It happens, you know what I'm saying? They're yeah. probably yeah, they're, the worst. Word. We're, we're it. always the postable. You, you know, know why? Because they get there, there's, dumb. A, there's a Japanese nigga cheating on his wife right now. And but, and he, but, and but he giving the side chick money. But it's but <laughs> word. <laughs> word. He's sugar daddy on the side. Word. And he got he, he he pretty much got paid. You know, I'm just being a scenario, but like no, no, I understand. What you're but saying. like, but it's not a stereotype. I understand what you're you know saying. saying. Like the fact that it's like you could be you could be a, a faithful black man or a black man who has certain ideals and feel like not appreciated or not noticed mm-hmm. because you don't. All you hear about is like these niggas ain't shit, or that. you hear the right. negative, and it's like the negative's always been pushed. It's changing mm-hmm. the narrative, and it's and even and even about black women. Mm-hmm. So and 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 niggas do that shit all the time, um, bashing women 
Like oh, even yeah. even when certain things show up and women point certain stuff out, like oh why you ain't got um, black women in your music video? There's always some um, ashy ass nigga talking about niggas can have preferences. Well, nigga, shut your oh, ass up, God. bro. That's <laughs> like like you don't know that <laughs> you're not helping the argument. Word, like you don't know that representation is an issue. Nigga, yeah. go shut like. But some of them don't know, dude. They, like they, some they, of them just be like. That's exactly their point. It's yeah. it's selfish. It's, Word, they, but I like that. But Word, no, but it, like the but point is, you out here representing all of us, mm. and while you're out here, you you should probably think a little bit more about how you're representing Word. the entire group Culture. of people that look like you. you know what I'm saying? Word. Just cause yeah. a just cause a nigga hurt you, like it's about the narrative you're trying to like. You know what I mean? But a nigga could have a preference. <laughs> So wow! In one ear, out the motherfucker. <laughs> but what her problem is? No, <laughs> no. The, the, what the issue is? Why a nigga got a preference? Oh, the the yeah, you know he saying? has a preference if because you, of if this. you if you like Spanish women, all right. If you like Spanish women because you don't like black women, that's mm. the issue. No, well, we definitely know it's just the representation of beauty in the media that we grew up watching. Period. You know mm-hmm. they sh- they. The Barbie dolls or the 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 dolls that you, you know little girls play with looked a certain way for White a very blonde. long time and still a lot mostly Word. do. White At least you can blonde. go and see a lot of black dolls and other um, ethnic dolls out there now. A lot, it's a mm-hmm. lot more commonplace, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. And it's so funny. I remember Barbies. <laughs> that, that nigga name was Jamal. <laughs> the Ken, like the Ken doll equivalent in Barbie. His Word. name was Jamal. Of course. And oh like, God. what was the oh, chick's name? My sister had that shit, but that's kind of lit, though. Nigga named Jamal. Hey. He, had, he had the waves. I'm and not shit. mad at it, but I'm, <laughs> at, at the same time. Yeah. But it's like. But it's always but, on some hit. But Jamal go, was. And, yeah. still, and, yeah. like, right. and still, Jamal was a ripped <laughs> Wesley Snipes blade looking motherfucker. You know what I mean? Like, he was. You know, they there was still a um a misrepresentation of beauty mm. in these Barbie dolls. You didn't have the dad body in a Barbie doll. Word. Did you uh, dream about Jamal? Or, or as I like to call <laughs> the slim, the, you know what I'm saying? No, this is the, the, the war body. This is this this and is the I warrior build. You know what I'm saying? And warrior. I, this is lean muscle. You know what I'm saying? They, dad. <laughs> I have no kids. <laughs> This but is a, this is dad, efficiency. You know? Dad, what? lean in between. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, like, um, what, can't tell a nigga work out. Can't tell him he don't work out. One thing, <laughs> one thing about her is, um, I, I don't know if I said on the podcast or it was before, is that she's trying to recapture her past because remember in her past she was the cute curly Wait, who, hair. Oh, like, you, oh, you talk, too. Oh, you go. Oh, oh, yeah. She was a cute curly hair girl. She's on the shows and everything. Oh, that's it. And when she got older, she wasn't. As wanted per se. Now she's that's a pain. Now she's let's, no no no. Let let's me not, finish. Let yeah. me finish. Y'all niggas talk for ten minutes. Let me finish. I'm just saying. You let's talk for ten minutes. She's a narcissist. <laughs> she's a narcissist. She just wants the camera. She just wants attention. Yeah, she's like you said. She's raising a good point, but at what cost? And why do you want to do it now? You had all those other times to say, oh, we should pay attention to therapy, this, that, and the third in relations. But you want to bring it up when something like this comes out, just to take attention on that, just because you're bitter. Yes. <laughs> yeah. That's narcissism. It's classic Word. narcissism. Word. But you see it all the time, dog. Yeah. And we, need to, we need to stop doing that shit, dog. Like, you... Is it narcissism? No, like, I'm myself. Uh, <laughs> um, Man, you, uh, damn. 20, damn. Nah, basically, yeah, she is... <laughs> That could be narcissistic, and that is, that is also your opinion. She's what? a sociopath. She <laughs> might be a sociopath? Are you gonna say socialite or some shit? This nigga <laughs> says sociopath. <laughs> She's but, not a sociopath. Right. No, but yeah. the thing is, it's not just her. There's other people no, like her. No, no, definitely no, not a sociopath. No, to the point, because it's like it's because people do this all the time. They take. I think they they take their 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 bitterness like out on like. Just, it, it it feels good to to say something and, and have people gratify it. Mm-hmm. So like instead Within of the, a larger conversation, word mm-hmm. or so, you, or be the one to change the, the direction of the so, conversation. So if somebody if somebody hurts you, you know what I'm saying? It's it's easy to go. Well, niggas ain't shit. Bitches ain't shit. <laughs> right. right. And have a bunch of people be like, yeah, bitches ain't shit. Yeah, niggas ain't shit. You, you're right. I also Word. don't want to deal with my responsibility. Yeah. Word and, and, and just and just vindicate your your. Your, your your bitterness, you know what I'm saying, yeah. and, just, and just spread that, you know what I mean. Lashing out and projecting—that's all that is. Word, but it's like, bro, it's like, 
it's it's all about um it's all about attracting the energy and just projecting certain energy right, right. Mm-hmm. and and she reduces the point of black men don't cheat well, when well, she brings that up i mean i'm trying to even though cause we, we we t- <laughs> this is what i was trying to avoid i feel like we talked about it for like 20 minutes no, no, it wasn't twenty. It seemed like twenty minutes Word. because of it. But yeah, I, I don't want to. I don't want to keep. <laughs> I don't want to keep harping on it. No, 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 no. No, it, no, no. It's no harping it's on just, it. Like, like I, I, I think we was just making a good point to not let something like that take away from mm. a good thing. That's yeah. it, right? That's it. True. So the 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 whatever where we it, well, it, it aggravated us to watch the video. Mm. However, the point we're trying to make by bringing it up is let's not let. People like her, because we're gonna we're not gonna keep harping on her. We're not gonna mm-hmm. let people like her who will uh get aggravated seem aggravated or bitter in a situation. We're not gonna let them reduce the fact that black men don't cheat. And moving right Up along. Oh, let's see, let's see, let's see. I, I, I know what y'all been doing. Y'all who? What? Y'all been Y'all been running <laughs> from what we need to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought he was gonna talk about BT, <laughs> but since, we, we, since you want to talk about, I th- we already we already we talked already, about BT. No, well, I didn't. put a, the I just put that there to bring up the 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 Burner Boy um Burner Boy. Oh, because I did want to talk oh, oh, mention yeah. something about oh, BT real quick. Then. Same. <laughs> Offsets dance moves at the BT Awards, dog. This, I saw a tweet that said Chris Bree dot dot dot. Wait, is that Offset? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, but you know this is not new though. It's not new, but it's kind of new at the same time. Oh, that ain't that. To the, to the There's large a video stage. of him when he, he was like fourteen or fifteen. Yeah. And he no. was dancing better than that. There was in a yeah, room. No, no, no. He was just like popping a lot. I was like, this no, nigga's but dancing he's, his ass. No, oh, well, okay. all right. It's obvious that he's been a dancer. However, and she, he was a Whitney, the fact, Houston's, Whitney Houston's video. The mm. fact that <laughs> he incorporated his dance moves into his raps, where he's spitting them hard triplet flows on a large stage like that, was dope. I thought it was cool because it was like, I've always argued that Migos is hip hop, like they're actually real hip hop, mm. and people don't believe me. That is also this is another element to them that is actually hip hop. The dancing, I, I ain't gonna lie, the, all that. Katrina, shit. I was like, eh, but they won me over over the years. <laughs> Yo, you can't lie. That's some when hip-hop Katrina shit. came no, out. Dancing, I, was, I was not a fan good. when Katrina came out. Rapping, your lyrics on point. He ain't got the lyrics playing in the background. It's just him. Mm. He's a real hip hop artist. I don't care what nobody says. Well, he's also all a clone. So all the, he might be a clone now. Um, but all the Migos are. <laughs> no, no, not I, clones. All the Migos are real. I believe that they're real hip hop artists. I made that face because I knew you're gonna go there, so I couldn't what? argue with you. Because you're right. When it comes to the popping and like that is, you can't get more hip hop. And not that. even just the popping, just the fact that you're incorporating your dance moves with mm-hmm. backup dancers. Oh, Big Daddy can't used to do that shit. And I'm yeah. and there are nameless others that I'm not. Um, and every dance right incorporated this bro, somehow. Yeah. <laughs> but then going, going back to being African giants, bro. Like that's some African shit, bro. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's absolutely. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Niggas be dancing. That's like you see that in dance hall all the time too. Yeah. It really looked like Sir Black Stallion was on stage with a bunch of chains on, rapping <laughs> with a microphone. Now, like we, we can end the BT thing on this. Yeah. yeah. Um, Tyler Perry got the Ultimate Icon Award, which is like a Lifetime Achievement Award type thing. Yeah. Mm. And he went up there and represented, basically. Mm. You know, he was like, when nobody was giving these black actors jobs, I was, I built this studio, da da da. And like, it, it, what's funny is why he was talking about it, I was thinking of the Boondocks episode that made fun of him. <laughs> mm. I was like, damn, you know, he's <laughs> gotta talk that real shit now, but I'm thinking about the episode, but anyway. <laughs> And as far as that goes, like I have the utmost respect for him because he did give um uh he gave Viola Davis work. He mm-hmm. gave Aegis Alba work. Mm-hmm. But I like I didn't watch the wire. I first saw Aegis Alba in Daddy's Little Girl. Yeah. Tyler actually, Perry, actually, Cause I didn't watch the wire. He was on the wire. Bro, Tyler He Perry gave like, um Taraji P. Henson work. Bro, bro, a lot a lot of even buddy from the practice. The a lot of like, like, a, a lot of black too. actors get regular Oh Boris Kojo. Get get regular work because yeah, of him, dog. Absolutely. Like a lot of number of stuff, dog. Even stuff that he like projects he does directly, projects like bro. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah because he's a he's a he's a right. Like the thing is, the thing that kind of like <laughs> the thing that kind of like dampers his shine mm-hmm. is because from a you know objective point of view or subjective, either way, his movies are not that good of quality all the time. Mm-hmm. However. It's very inspirational that he produces, writes, and directs. He produces, writes, and directs all of them. Word. That shows work ethic and everything. And that that doesn't inspire the young kids. But when it comes to the medium, mm-hmm. you know, what I'm saying I, I'm not saying he, I'm not saying he's trash because nobody be trash and make that much money and make that many movies. movies However, are so good. they just usually end his, weirdly. His, <laughs> his 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 bad movies outweigh his good movies. I would in my opinion, I and then I personally never liked Medea except from the plays. <laughs> that was it. Jesus. Sorry. Sorry. Like sorry, my sorry. ears are ringing every <laughs> time, dog. Shit. I think worse than that. <laughs> Damn. Um fuck up. Woo! <laughs> but like at the same time, not the undermine, man. I, th- I I think <laughs> what it is, some like he makes it's like you certain movies or certain projects, you it's like uh you you're doing this like I'm a, I'm a, this is like a niche market type thing. Yes. Yes. It's a this type of movie. Yes. So it's not meant, it's not every movie people set out to make is meant to be like super deep or super, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, as long as he gets his point across. Word, because a lot of, a lot of, bro, like, I, I bring up Adam Sandler. Oh, oof, he's a worse. He's worse than him. Bro. Yeah. He's worse than Tyler Perry. He's way worse. worse. But then, movies. but then, way worse. Some but bad then, movies. But, but he's then, made some really good movies. Yeah, too. but then at the beginning, yeah. But then you know what I'm saying. We, I, I guess yeah. uh, Adam. What well, does Grown Adam Sandler does? What well, right, are the, the biggest difference is that Adam Sandler started off as an actor. Tyler Perry was an actor, playwright, director, all that. Adam Sandler, like he probably did skits on SNL, but. Oh, uh, Tyler Berry did plays. Like so, he, he's, are, are he's we, a professional we, when it comes to we, the. Are we excusing Adam Sandler for his? Bad no, movies? he has some awful movies. That one, I regret watching. And two, <laughs> but then I will never watch again. But then, but then here's a beautiful thing about like Adam Sandler movies and Tyler Perry movies. Like mm-hmm. they're all successful movies. I'm de- that's and he knows how to make. At. He knows how to make a successful movie. And, he, You're and right. they hire their people. No, Word. no, no. And it may, the, 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 it may, they may be kind of like. Uh, on the on the ending sometimes, but like they're at the end of the day, they're not like unwatchable. You know what I'm saying? All like, right. I could. You, I you wouldn't could, watch could... Grown Ups one again. I didn't watch part two. Me neither. Wait, I didn't even up? watch Grown Ups. Oh, we're talking about Adam. Yeah, oh. sorry. Wait, no, right. no. I, just, <laughs> I, just, I just went there. That's <laughs> what I was. That's what I was getting at, Flock Zulu. Mm. When it comes to the box office and the success of it, mm. I cannot question that. Mm. And you said, oh, not every movie has to be deep. Uh, for instance, Dumb and Dumber. Mm. There's no depth to that movie at all. And it's a fantastic movie. <laughs> yeah. it, you don't have to be deep. or no, uh, Not true. a soul has to die. Not a drop of blood has to hit the floor for you to have a good movie. Mm. That's the point I'm making. It doesn't matter if it's comedy, drama. If you make a shit movie, guess what? Mm. You made a shit movie. That's what I'm saying. Like right. it doesn't. It has nothing to do with the genre or the tones. It's just sometimes he makes bad movies and he but, ran the D into the ground. But here, but here's, but here's the thing though, and it goes right back. <laughs> it, goes, it goes right back to the narrative, right? Which is, which is like, because we were talking about black men, black women. Mm-hmm. It was just like, hey, duh, duh, duh. it was like, yeah, but I feel like you know what I'm saying. We need to be. It ain't it ain't the time to be to critique to to to, to, to that level to reduce it ain't because, the time to reduce that shit. I'm not because people don't cause talk. We, no, we 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 don't have to do that because we we could oh. we could just we could just say yo he won an award he deserved that he he deserves it you know what I'm saying Jesus. and we don't have to we don't have to bring up the bad movies in that moment you know what right. I'm saying. But we could, we know, because we, everybody. It is a moment of every, celebration. Every black person knows like, that, you know what I'm saying? There's some, t- t- when, there's some hit or miss, you know what I'm saying? Every, we know when that. you go to somebody's funeral in the eulogy, they don't be like, yeah, man, you know, he provided for his kids. He did beat his wife sometimes, but he provided for his kids. No, they don't do that. <laughs> That's an extreme like, example. This is, this is a you. celebration. Yeah. It's, a, it's not yeah. an extreme example. It's an accurate example. It's a good analogy. 
that that, that isn't a, com- a complete. Exactly. So, <laughs> point made. <laughs> no, but, but this- no, no, hold up. So, we're gonna if you're celebrating Tyler Perry for winning this award and for doing what he's done for the community, not just the black community, but done as an achievement in film, period, mm-hmm. and in um in plays in that world, then. It's not the time to bring up the negative. Right? Yeah. I forgot where I was going with that. <laughs> but No, no, no. I, I was no, about to tie I that shit into my I understand what you guys are again. saying. And you're not wrong. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're not wrong. I'm not bashing him because... Uh, Oh, you're not you're not wrong either. No, you're not wrong. Yeah. That's all it is. Honestly, Girl, Daddy's like, Little Girls, which is one of his best movies. It is his best in movie. In my... One of his best movies, in my <laughs> opinion, and but the ending is completely unrealistic, <laughs> and, and it throws you off. It takes you out of the movie, like best Tyler Perry it, movie, it or worst Tyler movie. Perry movie that I've seen. Yeah. The best Tyler Perry movie to me still is Daddy's Little Girl. Mm-hmm. Daddy's Little Girls, mm-hmm. and the worst one out of the ones I've seen was anyone with Medea in it. I'm sorry, no. I'm sick of Medea, dog. I, was, I never liked uh-huh. that dressing up in the dress shit. I hey, never liked was it. A family Where, hey, I never. I didn't even like Big Mama's house. Hey, I liked Meet the Brown. I feel so. you. I, know, I feel you. I just that. never liked it. I feel you. It, I feel maybe, you. maybe like I, I feel like, like my pops hey. kind of indoctrinated into it. No, but, that's good. That's good because I, I actually liked, liked Big Mama's house. So that's hey. good. You did. You, I like you Martin. Not, you're not fucking with the. I like fucking with the. Is it demasculation or emasculation? I'll be mixing that shit up. I forget, but we understand you. <laughs> That's the, all that matters. The demanification of men. <laughs> <laughs> no, the demeninizing. The D de- of the black man. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and of course, shout out Dave Chappelle the first one to say it's like I'm, I'm funny without a dress. Word. You know what I'm saying? But dress. that's gonna be a whole yeah, other conversation. It, 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 you know, you know, it's a whole other you know, conversation. You know what movie surprised me? Um, what's it called? Medea's Haunted. Um, I didn't Obu? watch it. Bro, bro, there's two of them, bro. I ain't gonna lie. It was funny. It was pretty Good. funny, dog. I ain't gonna lie. I, I didn't. Check it all out. right, maybe I'll check it out. I didn't expect it to be so funny, though. I was just like, oh shit, this is just like, oh okay. Like I laughed. You know what I'm saying? Like it had a, it caught a nigga. I was just like, oh okay. shit, that's pretty funny. Maybe I give it a try. And you know what's but funny? Then, but he's then, a good actor too, bro. And the nigga's hilarious. You saw him on Gone Girl. No, I didn't Girl, watch right? the Alex Cross movie. No, no, not on on Gone Girl. No, I didn't watch it. No, no, he he killed his wrong gone girl. Yeah, he's I, actually, you know, but it's just I'm gonna help out. You know I'm gonna help out Flock of Zulu here because I really think we've been trying to avoid the, the next oh, topic of oh conversation. No. Oh no, oh no, <laughs> I thought it was crossed out. Oh no, yeah, we we don't have any time for it. Oh, all I all all, all I want to say. I'm we, sad. We're, <laughs> we're gonna retain that for the next episode. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm gonna stay Lord, awkward dude. the whole time. The, uh, the whole time. I'm gonna be Hold sweating. <laughs> I'm gonna do the whole me. episode like this. <laughs> Hold on. Zoom that, zoom that camera me so I can awkwardly wink episode. at it. Ready? <laughs> Bomb. So, what? <laughs> <laughs> awkward. Yes, yeah, but you know, to, to bring it back. Word. So my, co- congrats to Tyler Perry. You deserve it. Word. You did so much for black people in Hollywood. You did so much for. Black people entertainment period. Congrats Word. to Offset you know for finally saying? getting recognized for your dance moves. Word. Yeah, that bro, boy was boogie. He was bro. A straight boogie, man. Bro, to 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 wrap it up, my last I want to talk about BET as a network, and it's 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 I feel it's 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 lost potential, bro. Like oh I, yeah, it it doesn't belong to us anymore, bro. Like That's, I feel it like, hasn't for a long time, bro. Not they so could do so. I, I, like in th- in this day and age, I think about how much BET could do, and I'm like, dog, it's just mostly like reruns of stuff. They yeah. play Baby Boy like five times a minute. <laughs> the you know? potential. No Sunday on well, BET is complete well, without Baby Boy. Word. <laughs> I'd say the no <laughs> knock on Baby Boy, but I mean, dog, you could. Yeah, no, no, it's a good movie. There's other great black movies that you can play. No, absolutely. Um, Shows, music, the potential is still there. Documentaries. The potential is still there. Unfortunately, the implementation of quality uh, content that I think encompasses the whole black experience is not being pushed on BET. Mm -hmm. When think back to shows like Teen Summit, if y'all remember that, where like. It's a talk show style thing where on BET, where I forget who was the host. Wow. The host was a woman, I think, most of the time. And um, she would basically talk. It was called Teen Summit. And she would basically, ha! 
No. <laughs> she would basically talk about, you know, topics that influence uh, that were important to, you know, young black kids or young kids in the urban communities. Mm-hmm. And um and they would all the team all the different kids would just it would be a, a forum or like a conversation party. Anyway, yeah. so um But them crackers saw that shit like you trying to inform these and, young niggas. But or? even even down to the music videos, um, the shows that were geared for music videos, Shout they were out still BT more creative. Uncut. There was like hits from the street. Yes. Rap City was dope. Even Cedar's when they brought, World. Remember Cedar's World? I don't remember that one. She was the first CGI character to have a... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I'm probably not the first. I'm exaggerating, but you know. <laughs> yeah, so, um, yeah, the, the potential is there because we have... The, well, we don't have the network, but the network's there. So the potential's there, but who the fuck is pulling the strings right now? For the last five minutes, I was trying to find a new acronym for BET to describe them better because it's not black entertainment television. <laughs> Booty eating TV. <laughs> <laughs> uh, black evil television. <laughs> Word. But fellas, I'm looking around at the at, at the at the dark matter floating around, and that's about the episode. Yeah. What right, are you man? smoking? Oh, that <laughs> that gas apparently. I am. <laughs> I don't know where I am, but anyway. You gave me shenanigans? Word. You Pretty God, you gave me shenanigans. Oh, k Word. I don't know where I am, but I know who I am. <laughs> and I am Flock of Zulu, a.k.a. Nicodemus, a.k.a. Pablo Escovich, a.k.a. Gary Indiana Jones, a.k.a. Sir Black Stein III, a.k.a. No More, a.k.a. Stop the Violence. Boop, 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 boop. Yes, watch me introduce myself. It's your boy, Icing Black, a.k.a. Black Dynamite, a.k.a. Wade Bixby, a.k.a. Holy Fuck Roaches, a.k.a. Shabby Ranks, a.k.a. Samurai Black, <laughs> a.k.a. Swiss Army Nigga, Swiss Army Nigga, Swiss Army Nigga, Zoom on anyone, Swiss Army Nigga, Zoom in on me, Zoom in on me, damn it, Swiss Army Nigga, okay. I and then you lean back, and it's your boy, Jormatic, a.k.a. Lao Pat Trover, a.k.a. Way Chappelle, a.k.a. Way Grady, a.k.a. Black Dallas Americans, a.k.a. Malcolm Vex, and B.k.a. Skip Billings. Yes. We'll see y'all next week. We explain what this dark matter is. Love the word. Because I still...